Welcome to Swindon and the Steam Festival. It's 2015. Let's take a look round at what we've got this year that's new. Well, the problem with most layouts is space. It's not a problem with this layout, is it? No, it's uh, 44 inches by 27 inches. And it's a spiral, really, isn't it? Although you can't see it, but it's a spiral. It's pure spiral, yeah, from, from the uh, Cyril Freezer's design some years ago. The uh, fiddle yard is at the front, and uh, so, yeah, it goes around through a tunnel, back round into the station at the top, so pure end-to-end, -end, a lot of operating interest. Hard work and exhibition, though, because you can't just sit and leave things to run. It's taken me approximately two years to build the layout. This is the first time I've exhibited. I think it's, it's a lovely exhibition because it's set in the museum um, and you've got the real locos around you. It makes for a good atmosphere. Right, we've come to P4, which is real scale for four mil. It's not double O. Smashing, what? so tell me about it. It's a layout that's based um, in the Midlands, late 50s, at the end of the... Um, steam era beginning of diesel it's part military because we've got some military vehicles that are being condemned so they're being dealt with and it's just a local passengers probably about 18 months getting on for two years to get it from nothing to a fairly good exhibi exhibitable stage this is only the second time this layout has been out um, but i've been exhibiting layouts for about the past 10 15 years we only live about 20, 25 minutes away and we, I come every year. I think it's a great place. I mean, you can't get more enthusiasm than being in a steam museum right next to the real thing. It's a great family event. You know, there's something for everybody here. We've got the exhibits within the museum, which are fantastic anyway, but we've got some of the, like I said, some of the best model railway layouts, traders, steam exhibits. We've got traction engines here today and there's just a great atmosphere. A uh, slightly different layout and, and can I say the points look fantastic? A, tell me about this layout. Well, this layout's Hewis Bridge, um, based on Borders Railway. That's my fascination, North British section of, of Scotland, South East. But instead of actually building a layout on an actual place, what I decided to do was to try and copy the landscape, get the, get the flavour of the area. To be honest, we need a team of three to operate, one on, one on the controls and one operating either fiddle yard. This is our first time down here in the Steam, Steam Museum at Swindon, and I can honestly say for myself and the guys in the group, we're thoroughly enjoying ourselves and what a fantastic venue it is. Brilliant. We've been working on a, a programme to celebrate the birth of Swindon as a railway town and the birth of our town as we know it for the last couple of years, and that kicks in in 2016. So that's a big celebration for us, so we're working on all sorts of things, different events, activities, exhibitions, and it's all going to start in January 2016 and run through till December. So yeah, big plans for the museum and big plans for Swindon too. Well, that's the end of another Steam Swindon special, but next year's extra special. It's 175 years since they built the works. See you next year at Steam.